Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on frequency tables. Uh, so we're only going to go over the basics in this video and um, we'll look at a couple of different exam style questions. Uh, there'll be a couple of other videos to follow on some more complicated frequency tables. Uh, but let's just jump straight into it then. Uh, so example one is constructing a frequency table. So 66 people were asked about how many bathrooms they had in their house. 30 people had one bathroom, 21 people had two, 5 people had three and 7 people had four. Uh, the rest had five or more. Use this information to construct a frequency table. So our frequency table then has two columns. Uh, in this case, the uh, question is about the number of bathrooms people have. So the first column will be number of bathrooms. And then uh, because it's a frequency table, the second column will be frequency. Uh, so let's draw our table then. So it looks like this. So the options people have then are one bathroom, two bathrooms, three bathrooms, four bathrooms, and the final option is five or more. Now the frequency uh, is just the number of responses for each answer. So if 30 people had one bathroom, then the frequency is 30. If 21 people had two, then that frequency is 21. Uh, five people had three, and seven people had four bathrooms. Now it says that the rest had five or more, uh, and we're told that there's 66 people that were asked in total. Uh, so to find the rest, uh, then we need to total up uh, what we've already put in the frequency column. So if you add 30 plus 21 plus 5 plus 7, uh, that is 63. And the 66 people in total, uh, so the people who add 5 or more is 66 minus 63, which is obviously 3. Uh, so then the last frequency in the table is 3. Uh, so that's the complete frequency table for this question. So moving on to a second example then. The following frequency table is based on a survey where 89 women were asked about their shoe size. Calculate the mean, the median and the mode. Uh, now to calculate the mean, first of all, we're going to need to add a new column to our table. So let's just do that. And in this new column, we're going to put shoe size times frequency. So let's just call that size times frequency. Uh, so in this column, we're going to multiply the value for the shoe size by the frequency uh, for each of these rows. Uh, so if you do that, you should get 20, 54, 90, 104.5, 66, 26, 56, 37.5. 40, 0, and 18. So this will allow us to calculate a total shoe size, if you like. Uh, so the total frequency, as we already know, is 89. Uh, but if you sum up this shoe size times frequency column, you should get a total of 512. Uh, okay, so to find the mean, it's the sum of the items divided by the total number of items. So that f therefore that's 512 divided by 89. If you perform that calculation, you should get a value of 5.8 uh, to one decimal place. So the median and the mode are a bit more straightforward. Uh, and if you remember, the median value is given by uh, the n plus one over two value. So that's 89 plus one over two. Uh, so that's 90 divided by two, which is 45. So the median is the 45th value. Uh, so where does the 45th value lie? Uh, well, if we uh, go to the frequency column, we have to basically find out which shoe size the 45th value is in. So if we total up the frequency column, going one row at a time, we'll see that everything in the first row takes us up to the fifth value. Everything in the second row will take us up to the 17th value. Uh, so all I've done there is just added the five and the 12. If we do the same for the next row, that takes us up to the 35th value uh, because we've added 18 there. And then if we add 19 on the next row, uh, that takes us up to the 54th value. Uh, so as you can see, we've gone past the 45th value. Uh, so therefore, the median is in this uh, shoe size. Uh, so therefore, the median is 5.5. So the mode is the easiest of the three values to calculate. And that's just because it's the most commonly occurring value. So we look for the one with the highest frequency. Uh, and as you can see, the highest frequency is 19. And that's again in the 5.5 shoe size, uh, so therefore the mode is also 5.5. If you'd like to practice your skills on frequency tables, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform, and there's loads of different questions for you to have a go at. 
you get instant feedback on each and every one of them uh, so you can keep track of the areas that you're weakest at where you need to improve and so on so if you're interested you can click the link below and it will take you straight there